Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add this line of code to the footer of your Squarespace website so the year will automatically update. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how to install this and what parts of this code you might want to change. So here we are inside Squarespace and I am using version 7.1, but this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace. I also want to mention this code that we're adding here has a piece of it that's JavaScript. At the time of recording this, you can only add JavaScript if you're using a business or commerce plan. But this is the code that we're going to be placing in the footer of our website. This code is going to say all rights reserved, copyright, and then insert the year followed by the text by inside the square.co. Obviously, you'll want to change that to your own business or whatever text you want to have there. But right now, I just have a text block in the footer of my website that says the same thing. We want this year to automatically update, and that is where this part of the code comes in handy. Now I'm going to copy this code right here. We'll hop into edit mode, and I'll scroll down to the footer, select edit footer. And here, I'm just going to delete the text block that I have. I'll select add block, and here we'll add a block of code. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure this block of code stretches the full width of the footer. I'll double click on it and I'll remove the filler text and replace it with the code. Now you'll notice I've highlighted a few things. You can kind of see it in the background there. I'll show you what those are and why you might want to change them. The very first part of this code says center and so does the very end of it. That is what's placing the text in the center of that code block. If I remove it, you'll notice it's actually going to scoot the text over to the left-hand side, aligning it with the left of the block. I like this to be centered, but you can remove it if you want it aligned to the left. Now, after that, I have the letter P. This means make everything in here paragraph text, but you'll notice this is a bit smaller than the text block that we had. I was actually using an H3. So if you want to change this to a heading style of text, type H3 instead of the letter P, or you could even use H2 or H1, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to change it to H3 and you'll notice immediately everything got a lot bigger. Now this is the text that says all rights reserved and then the copyright symbol. This here is the JavaScript that inserts the year. You'll notice in edit mode it's disabled so we can't see it, but trust me, it's there. We'll take a look after we select save. And then right here I've added by inside the square.co. You'll obviously want to replace that with your own business or domain name. After you've made all of the edits you want to, Go ahead and select save and let's take a look at what happened. Scrolling down to the bottom of our page, there we go. All rights reserved, copyright 2023 by inside the square.co. This part of the code is going to update every single year. So it will have the most up to date year automatically, no additional work required. Now, one last time, how did we do this? We hopped into edit mode. We scroll down to the bottom of our page. I wait until we saw the option to edit the footer. I'll click on that option. We added a code block. I am using Fluid Engine here. If you're using Classic, just click the blue plus sign that you'll see. Otherwise, select Add Block and Add a Code Block. Double clicking on that code block, we pasted the code right here. I'll scoot this to the center so you can see what's going on. This text where it says All Rights Reserved Copyright, we're going to leave that alone. This right here is the JavaScript that adds the year. We're going to leave that alone. Update this to your business or domain name. And if you want it aligned to the left, remove the text that says Center. And if you want it to be smaller or larger font, change H3 to a P for paragraph font like that. Or you can change it to H2 if you want it to be a lot bigger. Go ahead and make that change so we can see it happen. There we go. Super customizable. Just make sure it's between those left and right angled brackets right there and you'll be good to go. Whatever you've changed it to, select done and save at the very top. Let the page refresh and then you'll see the code in action. Now that's it for this super simple update to the footer of your Squarespace website. If you're watching this tutorial video on my blog at insidethesquare.co, you'll find that code directly underneath the video. But if you happen to be watching this on my YouTube channel, I can't actually paste these characters in the description of a YouTube video. So click the link in the description and you'll head on over to my blog post so you can copy and paste this code and make the updates you need so it looks perfect on your own website. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Now stick around, I've got another video queued up for you. Here's what's coming up next.